I remember a sunny day when I was 14, my parents called me to get ready, as we were going on a regular car trip. And as I was a teenager, I pushed to be in the front seat because I wanted to be cool. So my mom and grandma sat down on the back seat. I remember as we got into the hallway, listening to some music, we were happy singing along. What happened next changed my life. Our car was hit and I remember the time was frozen for me. As I was in shock, the car started rotating on the road. When the car stopped, I could get out, or I could not see my mom and grandma. I understood that they had been thrown out during the rotation from the window. I started shouting for help. Unfortunately, my grandma died due to that accident, and my mom was hospitalized for around two years. I asked myself, all oh, for what? Why? I wanted to blame someone. Was it the driver? Was it the car safety? Who was to blame? It was all because of human decision-making error of a random person on a highway. Why did I share my personal story with you? It's because this is only one case out of millions of accidents every year, and behind every number is a real person like you. Every year, the lives of approximately 1.3 million people are cut short as a result of car accidents. Due to our poor judgment and decision-making error in complex situations such as driving. Put yourself into the driver's shoes. You are under pressure to make complex decisions now. And there might be millions of different options with different trade-offs. Think about the consequences. Are you able to make the optimal decision? The answer is no. Our brains are not machines. It cannot calculate all the scenarios to find the best decision. That's why you need to use the right tool for the right job. Stephen Hawking in 2000 said that this century will be the century of complexity. I have said the word complex a few times by now. What does complex mean? Well, complex doesn't mean complicated. It means that there are many, many interrelated, independent parts interacting like a car and other cars on a road and you and other people in a society. All this relationship can be both in order and random with high level of uncertainty. From the point of Big Bang to present, the universe has become ever more complex. From a soup of particles now we have galaxies, solar systems, ecosystems, and us, living complex beings in a complex environment. Businesses, societies, our immune systems, and the internet can be thought of as complex adaptive systems. Each of these systems evolves in relation to the larger environment in that it operates. The system as a whole must adapt to change in order to survive. As brilliantly Heraclitus, a Greek philosopher, said, change is the only constant in life. The challenges confronting us today and those that we will encounter in the future demand new ways of thinking about and understanding the complex, rapidly changing and interconnected world in which we work, live and make daily decisions. Complexity gives us a new way to look at the world. It's a paradigm. It's a new way of thinking. Let's get into complexity of your decision making. It's estimated you make about 35,000 conscious decisions each day. You make about 227 decisions on food alone. Each decision, of course, carries inevitable consequences that are both good and bad. As the level of your responsibility increases in life, so does the number of the choices you are faced with. Many of these decisions, big or small, are not optimized for your preferences and goals, and hence you might regret them, which may have negative compounding effect on other decisions you make in your life. Some of your decisions are extremely important, yet complex, such as what jobs or career choices you will pursue or if you did, why did you? Why that one? 
After all, one third of your life is spent at work. There are millions of different jobs out there. Are you sure the job that you have is the absolute match for you based on your personal goals, your skill set, education, future stability, and many more variables that might be conflicting with each other? Is there a better match out there for you? Most probably there is, but again, your brain is not made to calculate all the trade-offs in millions of different scenarios to find the right job for you. I believe all of your decisions should be set and optimized to push you towards your personal goals to ultimately make you happy. Let's say you want to buy a bottle of wine. You walk into a wine shop or grocery store, observe the selection. More often than not, you're met with oil open of oil of hundreds if not thousands of bottles. How does that make you feel? Are you overwhelmed? If you're not an expert, probably yes. Certainly I would be, like this guy. That is called choice overload. It was first defined in 1970s by Alvin Toffler. He stated that it occurs when the advantage of diversity are cancelled by complexity of buyer's decision-making process. When confronted with too many choices, especially under a time constraint, many people prefer to make no choice at all, even if making a choice would lead to a better outcome. Choice overload makes you feel more under pressure, confused, dissatisfied, and ultimately increases your unhappiness. Even if your choice is good, you regret it, as you think that you didn't make the right one. Hopefully not your spouse. More choices equals more complexity. But what are other ways to deal with all of these complex decisions? Some may say, let's make AI do it. But what is AI? There are many different definitions of AI, which is short for artificial intelligence. And many firms use them by their needs to impose that they are AI enabled. However, we will refer to the Oxford Dictionary, which defines AI as the development and theory of computer systems able to undertake tasks regularly in needs of human intelligence, such as pattern recognition, visual perception, and of course, decision making. However, Joel Lemon and his colleagues define AI as an anarchy of methods, and I agree with them. It's not just machine learning or deep neural network as you may have heard of. It is way vaster than that and also includes optimization and many others. The field of AI is in a state of turmoil. Either a massive amount of progress has been made, or almost none at all. Although we are super close to obtain true AI, or it is centuries away. AI will solve all of our issues or put us all out of our jobs, destroy the human race or strengthen our humanity. It's a noble quest or summoning the demons, as Elon Musk said. However, let's get back to reality. Almost all of the AI solutions you use currently from your Netflix to find the next movie to watch to your smart speaker like Alexa are under an umbrella called narrow AI, meaning that they are really good only on one thing. The AI that you see in the movies are far, far away from where we are. And when AI achieves our level of intelligence, it is called general AI. Some people are concerned about AI-assisted decision-making due to the opacity of those decisions. It's not really clear how those decisions are made. Are they biased? Are they not? How they are optimized to be fair in the face of diversity? And another concern is that the fact that most real-world problems involve more than one objective and dimension, which needs to be taken account by AI for decision-making. It's like if you want to buy a fast car, your single objective is a speed. You end up with a fast car, but it has poor ride comfort, poor handling, it is expensive, inefficient and unsafe. You should take other five objectives into account and find the optimal option for you. So now you know what is complex and what is AI. Let's put them together, complex AI. You may say, wait, what? What is complex AI? Let's say your personal decisions are like you are holding a campus. 
And the narrow AI is like giving you a map to understand where you are. But still, there are many ways for you to get to your destination. Complex AI, on the other hand, is like GPS. It will find the optimal route for you to get to your destination. It is indeed the bridge between the narrow AI today and the general AI in the future. Complex AI decisions are traceable and auditable, hence eliminating the concern around the opacity. Complex AI is multi-objective, hence solves the real-world problem more accurately. With complex AI, you can make more logical decisions. By removing the human biases and errors, decision-making not only gets free from biases, but will also be faster and more efficient. This is not a far-fetched future. It can be utilized today in complex environments, like data centers and the cloud, the pinnacle of today's technological complexity. But what is a data center? That's where the internet lives. From the moment you open your phone or laptop to chat with your friends, post photos on social media, or watch videos online, like the one that you are watching, almost everything you do on the internet is connected to one or multiple computers, stacked up in thousands in a warehouse somewhere in the world. If you connect these data centers together in a network, you have cloud technology. In the data centers, there are way too many variables to decide on. And the answer is not necessarily in the middle. The obvious solution to one person is not the obvious solution to another. In fact, more than 70% of all data center failures and incidents are caused by human error and it can be often traced back to poor decisions by their management. But what is the solution here? Complex AI can make sure that these computers are optimally utilized so you can indeed be able to do what is very important online, like watching CAD videos. We utilize complex AI in data-rich complex environments, such as data center and transportation, to solve complex issues for you. Currently, it is in its teething phase, but with technological advancement, we are and will produce even more data around us that would enable complex AI to provide value to other areas, soon perhaps even to you and your own decisions. Unprovenly, technology is and has been an ally in the sense that the most appropriate tool can take you further to be better and improve. End of the day, it is a tool and you decide how to use it. I want you to imagine. Imagine the change that complex AI is bringing to your decisions and to your life. Just imagine for a second what is coming you would be able to live in an efficient way and happier life without regrets over bad decisions. Every decision for individuals and organizations will be optimized for them based on what they want to achieve. And increase productivity to maximum level for everyone based on their path and prior decisions. And hopefully no other person would end up in a fatal accident in the near future as I was in the past. I would like to ask you, what decision have you made today? What decision in life do you regret? Your decisions determine your destiny. So to overcome their regrets, let's get some help from Complex AI. Thank you.